one of the big turning points, I think it was 36-32, ETSU yeah. had a steal, empty-handed, came back, got another steal, Kills. two empty-handed, and then all I mean, of a sudden starts second half. Obviously had a lot of problems, but we, as bad as things were kind of going in the first half, uh, DeSante gets a, a wide open layup and this is it. To cut it to what? Two? You would have cut it to two. And then we get a steal and go down three on one turn. You know, so that could have tied, you know. And so then you go in at halftime, you know, you're down eight. You're still right there. We come out and want to play. We draw something up at halftime. We decide to get a wide open three. And nobody around him misses it. We go down and score, and then we just start turning it over against very just okay pressure. And so the, the tail of the tape is. Um, 20 turnovers, you know, and I, I felt like we had a team that we shared a ball, and we had, we did, we shared it with the wrong team, and we had three assists on 22 baskets. It's that's horrendous, and we had 20 turnovers. And you can't, you ask me for a game, you know, what's the big thing? It's turnovers and, and live ball turnovers. When you go on the road and you play against really good teams like this, then you can't do those things, you know. And oh, defensively. I don't know what they shot for. They only shot 40% in their building. I mean, we did a pretty good job there. You know, the reality of it is we even out-rebounded them. But the turnovers are just unguardable. You know, and, and I, we got to fix that, obviously. I got to. You know, we, we got to the line actually more than they did in the end. We were seven, you know, 17, 24 from the line. But two for 18 from three. Um, and they made nine, so there's seven points. We got 20 turnovers, and they got 14. And, you know, they scored. 27 points off turn, we scored 13, there's the game.